The Stories of Lightning McQueen, Season 1, Episode 5, McQueen's Training. Thank you, Mata, for bring, for getting me to the to release Butte, said McQueen. No problem, said Mata. Shall we race to get there, said McQueen? Your van, said Mata. But remember when I was Mater the Greater? Oh, Mater, that never happened. And when I was Mater the Rocket Greater? I know that happened when, back in 2011, Mater, but still. See you at, at Willie Spewed, says McQueen. And he zipped away. Oh, yeah, man, says Mater. He brought out his rockets and flies. To McQueen. I'm using my rockets, McQueen! You're now mate to the rocket greater again, aren't you, Ma aren't you, mate? said McQueen. I am, said Mata. Oh dear, Mater, said McQueen. I won! He went sipping to the starting line. I'm ready, Mater, said McQueen. Hey! Hey! <sighs> you were going so fast, Betty, said Mater. And your mark, he said. Right, any tips, said McQueen. Oh yeah, remember draft, said Mater. Remember McQueen to always draft. I'll make sure I will, Junior. You ready, Mr. McQueen? Yes, I am. Wahoo! said Cruz. Go, buddy! You did great today, McQueen, said Junior. Thank you, Junior, said McQueen. More training starts tomorrow, said Junior. You better get to sleep. I will, said McQueen. Uh, but I can't draft, Mater. There's no other cars to draft on, said McQueen. Shall I get on the racetrack? said Mater. Sorry, but you won't be too much up. I'll fly past you unless you're using your rockets, said McQueen. And using your rockets would be a little unfair. Plus, you'd go into that patch of cacti, probably, said McQueen. Rare point, said Mater. Three, two, one, go, said Mater. And McQueen went off. He raced around the track. Don't forget to drift at that corner, McQueen, said Mater. McQueen sped it up to the corner. Then he did it. You're doing it, buddy, said Mater. McQueen came roaring across the finish line. How did I do, Mater, said McQueen. You did well, McQueen, said Mater. Just don't forget to snap race against Jackson Storm, said Mater. I haven't, said McQueen. That's the whole point of this training. Well, you better get trying to do more, said Mater. I'm sure of that, said McQueen. He backed back up to the starting line. Remember to do as much drifting as you can, McQueen, said Mater. Well, I can't exactly drift on that slope corner, said McQueen. Oh, right, you're right, said Mater. Just try your best to race, then, said Mater. McQueen roared his engine. Then Mater said, Three, two, one, go. McQueen had a roaring start. He quickly went onto the inside. He drifted. And tried to keep on to the inside. 
You're doing it, buddy, said Mater. The Queen was racing down the track. He then took the corner with an easy drift. You're doing it, buddy, said Mater. The Queen was trying to do three laps. He did another drift as he came across the corners. He knew that he was doing well on the track, but he didn't know if he was going to be well against Storm. Just keep up the work, buddy, said Mater. McQueen came roaring across the line. You're nearly there, buddy, said Mater. One more lap. No, two more. You want your second to lap. Soon, McQueen came to the final part of the track. The final lap he had to finally arrived at. He took them as easily as he could. And he knew. He, despite being slower than Storm, he knew that he could outsmart him with all these tricks. Now, buddy, said Mater as McQueen crossed the finish line. How was that, Mater? said McQueen. Great, said Mater. But you forget one thing, said Mater. What is it? So you know in that practice race where Junior did a draft on you and he won, said Mater. Yeah, said McQueen. Go McQueen! Who do you think will win, Miss Sally? Said Cruz. I don't know, it seems McQueen will win. He's inches away from the finish line, said Sally. Go McQueen, you're inches away from the finish line, says Mater. I won, said Junior. How did you do that, said McQueen? Drafting, remember what I said about drafting yesterday, said Junior. Oh. Right, said McQueen. Okay, Mater, but how am I going to draft when I have nobody to draft on? Said McQueen. Don't worry, leave that to me. <laughs> said Mater. I don't trust that little laugh or him picking out who to draft me with. Said McQueen. Mater drove away. Then once he got the car for McQueen to draft on, he brought it to him. McQueen, I found the car you can draft on, said Mater. What is it? Who is it? said McQueen. It's me, Sally, said Mater. Sally drove up. Hey, Sticky, I mean Stickers, said Sally. You really think I'm going to draft on Sally, said McQueen. Mary, have to if you want to get better, said Mayor. Oh, I suppose you're right, said McQueen. Sally drove down. Let's get to racing then, Stickers, said Sally. You finally said my name right after all these years, said McQueen. Yeah, I did, said Sally. She and mates, she and McQueen got lined up on the starting line. I'm not comfortable racing against you, Sally said McQueen. Don't worry, Sticky, I mean Stickers, said Sally. I'll be fine. Right, you ready? said Mater. Yes, they both said. Three, two, one, go! said Mater. McQueen was startled by it 
and Sally got a head start. Aha! See you later, Sticky. I mean, Stickers, said Sally. Ah, said McQueen. He began to quickly catch up to Sally. How did you do that, says McQueen. Oh, you just got shocked by Mater saying go, and you were probably too busy thinking about not trying to draft on me and thinking of another way to win, said Sally. I was, says M McQueen. Okay, well, see you at the finish line, Sticky. I mean, Stickers, said Sally. She raced ahead onto the curve and soon onto the bumps. McQueen hurries after her. Then he remembers what Mater said. Draft, birdie! Sally was rushing over the bumps, but little did she know that McQueen was right on her tail. McQueen was strafting on her. He was gathering speed. He was soon right behind Sally. Hello, Sally, said McQueen. Ah, oh, you're actually drafting, said Sally. Yes, yeah, said McQueen. He was getting closer and closer to Sally. Then they noticed the curve. McQueen turned and zipped ahead of Sally. Sally, however, wanted to play the safe game. She slows down to take the curve, which Storm must not be doing. McQueen then raced around the curve. I'm winning, I'm winning, said McQueen. Sally, however, was taking the curve much slower. She was beginning to slow down and slowly took the curve, but carefully. She then began to draft on McQueen. Don't worry McQueen, I'm just right behind you, said Sally. Oh, I do not want to lose this race, said McQueen. He raced ahead. He was again inches away from the finish line. Sally, though, with her drafting on him, she thought she could catch up. She was going at maximum speed, but she was not able to do it in time. She was not able to turn and get ahead of McQueen in time. McQueen barely crossed the finish line. And McQueen wins! Says Mater. Sally, a few. Sally, one second to later, crossed the line as well. That was great exercise, Sticky. I mean, stickers, said Sally. Yeah, said McQueen, but why were you so rude in the race? Uh, I was trying to act like Jackson Storm, trying to trigger you and see if I could do a, like a Jackson Storm thing, said Sally. Okay, said McQueen. They began to look at the sun. It's beginning to get to night time, said McQueen. Yeah, said Mela. Oh, it's nice training today, said McQueen. Yeah, said Sally. Mela, may I have a toe back? I'm really tired after all this racing, said McQueen. Sure thing, birdie says Mater. McQueen got himself into position. Just got to do a bit of reversing. Then got to uh, do this, says Mater. Hurry up, Mater. I'm very tired, says McQueen. Careful what you wish for, Betty, says Mater. He then hooked up to McQueen and towed him back. Thank you, Mater, for towing me back, said McQueen. No problem, birdie, said Mater. So, do you cozy go? said Mater. Yeah, said McQueen. Right, here's your cone, said Mater. Thank you, Mater, 
Sids McQueen. No problem. You better get some sleep for tomorrow's training. Sids Mater. Yeah, Sids McQueen. But about that, I'm not training tomorrow. Sids McQueen. What? Sids Mater. Remember, it's race day tomorrow and I have to race Jackson Storm tomorrow. Sids McQueen. Oh, you're right, Sids Mater. Good night, Mater. Sids McQueen. Good night, McQueen. Sids Mater. So you're going to be sleeping in your cozy cone or back or at your uh, scrap heap over there, said McQueen. Eh, uh, I'll sleep at my scrap heap like I always do. Don't really use my own cozy cone anyway, said Mailer. Okay, said McQueen. Good night, Mailer, said McQueen. Good night, said Mater. McQueen went to sleep immediately. Uh, said Mater. Oh well, time to get some sleep, he said. Got to be McQueen's screw chief tomorrow, he said. He got into his shed and also went to sleep at once. Sally, however, was actually decided to take one last race around Willie's Butte. She did as much as McQueen did. She did as much drifting and went over the bumps like McQueen did. Then she attempted to do her drift. She did the drift, nearly came off the track though, but did it without a problem. Then she crossed the line. That was fun, said Sally. But I'm very tired, said Sally. So she raced back to the cozy cone. That's it enough for one day, she thought. Good night, she said to the town. Good night, they all said. <sighs> she said. The door to her cozy cone opened which was number two and she did and then she drove in there <sighs> she said another day's work another day's rest she said she could not wait for McQueen's race the next day Hello YouTube, Great RJ1 here. Now I know it's taking about eight months to get episode six out. I'm very sorry about that. However, the next episode will actually be about Jackson Storm and McQueen racing. Now you may have noticed McQueen's model. If you were wondering if it was is Rusty's paint job from the beginning of Cars 3, it's not it's sort of my own version of his fabulous Aren't you McQueen paint job? Uh, instead of the blue paint, he has the red, so I thought it looks pretty good on him, so that's what you were seeing in this episode. He sort of got a bit of a McQueen taste with a bit of a uh, dark taste, so you sort of had a bit of a mixture. And I think it turned out pretty well. I could have done with the blue lining on the uh, outlines for the lettering but of course it was not done because it was a recolor of the Fabulous Sighting McQueen which had the red lining so however either way the model is pretty good so yeah now I'm probably going to be using this same colour for him in episode 7 so yeah so yeah now i just want to say that junior doc louise nash and river scott will not be appearing in the series fully doc i'm not too sure about just yet but i know i won't be having junior or louise nash or river scott appear because 
the actual people they're based off have have actually died sadly so i thought to make it a little accurate at least have them be flashbacks and ghosts so that's what they're going to appear as for doc hudson i'm not too sure yet in my actual head canon he is still alive he just did not appear in the movies however i know the actual canon is that he actually did die however for my head canon he is still alive however i'm not too sure if i'll implement this into actually the series so yeah just wanted to get a couple things clear so when should you expect episode 7? I have no idea. Maybe some point this month. Anyways, I hope you did enjoy this episode. It was a little different. So, yeah. And tell me what you think about all the Junior and Doc scenes. Now, the scenes with Doc were based off the ones where he was drifting in Cars 1 in the first Cars movie. Maybe he decides to do like the race trip round Willie's Butte. So that's what the drifting part was done with. It's basically a base off that. And then the junior scenes, some of them are based off the dock scenes in Cars 3, but instead of it being like with like I can't argue with the Dockerson is sort of Junior teaching the Queen and tell me what you think about that if you start to see like flashbacks of the races actually teaching the Queen because I think that's sort of a nice little concept and tell me what else you think about the like racing parts of like Junior racing with the Queen to help him and stuff like that and the flashbacks I quite like those I think it just brought a lot of like new stuff to the movie. I mean, not the movie, to the series, but yeah. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.